Hey everyone, Cute and Fluffy here, coming at you hot, and today we're going to talk about 10 reasons why you need to adopt a cat, right? And when I say adopt a cat, I mean it as in don't buy a cat for or kitten from the pet shop, don't go to a breeder and get a pedigree or pure breed, adopt a cat from a shelter, guys. And the 10 reasons we're going to talk about, first of all, this is Night Fury, as you can see. This is our adoptive kitten. Well, she's getting pretty big now, I think she's about 6 months old, very slender little... Uh, little uh, mean machine we have, but very calm, having her little morning, mid-morning nap. Um, we got Night Fury from a shelter, and she was abandoned in a shed, uh, very, very young, very small, very timid. When we first got her, she was hissing, she was running all over the place. She absolutely hated us, she hated where she was, uh, very scared, very aggressive, and that's very common in adopted cats or kittens, right? Because they're coming from a fairly traumatic experience, um, wherever they have been. Um, the 10 reasons I want to talk to you about is, uh, I guess, 10 reasons that make sense. Um, and the first one we're going to start with is you're saving more than one life, right? And what I mean by that is, is that animal shelters are already really very, very full. Uh, they have a lot of space constraint. Uh, they're trying to fit uh, uh, abandoned uh, dogs, puppies, kittens, cats, animals, uh, left, front and center. They're trying to rehome as fast as they can. Uh, when, you say, when, when I say you're saving more than one life, it basically means that if you're adopting from a shelter, you're allowing space for another abandoned or found or mistreated animal to come and take that spot in that shelter so that they have somewhere to, to live, to stay until they are rehomed, right? So you're saving two lives, you're adopting a, a an amazing animal that needs your love, attention and care, and you're letting one be rehomed or at least uh, rescued and then put into a shelter, right? Um, the second point we're going to talk about is they're cheaper. They are. They're cheaper than a, a $1,000 uh, rag doll or vermin that you're going to potentially purchase from a breeder. Um, you're looking at anywhere between $100 to $250. They come with all their shots, their vaccinations, um, or at least their first couple of shots. And then after that, you might only have to do a, a one more vaccination. You'll still have to obviously flea and deworm them. But they come uh, ready to go at, from most shelters. So... Uh, for that price range, uh, especially if you're on a budget or you want a pet and you don't, you, you've you always wanted maybe a pure breed, but you can't afford it and then you want a cat or a pet kitten, uh, definitely go for a shelter, guys. Um, you, I guess breeders are out there for a reason. Um, everyone might want a pedigree or pure breed, but they're not the animals that need you right now. They're not the animals that need the support uh, and are rehoming. Um, the third reason is the personality is known, right? So what I mean by that is that at, at rescue centers, um, the, the people that work there, the people that volunteer there, they've spent time with the cats and the kittens, the dogs, the puppies, the animals. Uh, they'll generally know uh, <laughs> the personality. Um, you know what you're getting. Uh, we knew we were getting a very uh, scared, traumatized um, kitten that had been abandoned in the shed, and that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to uh, turn her life around, give her a great life, um, and just give her love and attention and the support that she needs. And now she's just an absolute rascal if you've seen on this channel she is all over the place she attacks us she plays with us she runs around all over the place she does parkour all over the apartment um but that's the thing right with breeders uh you're picking up a kitten or uh, essentially you have no idea what kind of kitten that's going to be you don't really uh, you, all you're getting is from what the breeder has told you uh, most likely with uh, cat shelters or dog shelters or animal shelters they have spent time with the animals They've given, they can give you a brief or a, a briefing or a breakdown of what the animal has gone through, what their personality is and what their behavior is, right? Number four, coming hot at number four is, it's good for your mental health, guys. Why wouldn't you uh, do something for your mental health, right? Um, and that's, uh, and I'm not being, it's not for selfish reasons. It's more of a, if you, um, cat, like everyone knows pets and animals, uh, they're very therapeutic, they're relaxing, they give you attention, they give you love, and that makes you feel good, right? So not only are they uh, beneficial, it's beneficial for them, adopting a cat or a dog and bringing them into your home and giving them a good life, it's also beneficial for you, right? It makes you feel good, makes you feel better about yourself, uh, it, it relaxes you, and you have someone that gives you attention and someone you can, or something, an animal that you can socialize with, right? Coming in at number five, oh, look at that big paw stretch. Yeah, she's not having a, she's probably uh, interested why I'm here recording her, but uh, this is, look, this is her probably third nap uh, of this morning, so uh, she's not that tired, guys. Uh, she's just being a bit lazy. She'll be able to get up probably in about 10 minutes to start running around, so more of a recharge than anything. Um, number five, good for your heart. So there's been statistics uh, shown around the world that apparently, uh, adopting animals or just having pets in general is uh, beneficial for your heart health and that's just because they reduce stress levels 
uh, and they make you feel good, they boost your cortisone levels. Um, obviously, I'm not a medical professional, um, but to be honest, animals and pets do make you happy. They do, they really do, because you love them, you appreciate them, they're cute, they're fluffy. Uh, look at this, she's an absolute cutie. Just uh, chilling. Yeah, little. So, picture this, when we first got her, could barely touch her. She would hiss, she would scratch, she would attack. Now she's uh, uh, just very relaxed, I can throw her around my neck. She droops over, she's very slender, very lean, so we've looked in after her, given her a good diet. I've looked in the description above of how to uh, um, feed, what to feed a uh, indoor cat and how to look after an indoor cat and what they need. Uh, she's solely an indoor cat, but we do get her on the harness as well and give her some outdoor stimulus. And that's simply because we live inside. Uh, which uh, comes into my next point, and that is number six. You can have cats and kittens in small areas. And what I mean by that is if you're living in an apartment or a small unit or a townhouse, uh, you want a pet, but it's just not big enough for a dog, you can get a cat. And make sure you adapt, adopt a cat and kitten, right? And you can have them as an indoor cat. Like I said, I've linked that video up above. Having an indoor cat, um, how it's beneficial, how it's easy, so easy to look after. Um, that's, uh, that's something that you can think about in regards to uh, uh, another reason why you, can adopt, you should adopt a cat or a kitten. Uh, coming in at number seven, we've got cats can actually improve resistance to asthma for kids and children um, and how that works is basically it gets them exposed to early allergens um, so if you have kids or newborns or babies once again guys i'm not a medical professional this is just something i've heard from my veterinarian that's what they told me um, just another good reason why people generally should get cats and dogs um, if they're worried about their kids uh, not being uh, that good with allergens uh, it just gets them that natural exposure very early on right Coming in at number eight, uh, there is a huge variety as well that you get, right? You can choose, like, look at this. We got this beautiful little tortoiseshell girl, and her color is stunning, right? And you're only gonna get that from an animal shelter. You might be lucky to get that at a pet store or a breeder, but when you go to an animal shelter, you they've got literally hundreds of kittens and cats to choose from, right? So if you wanted one that's very, very unique, one that needs a home as well, it's like a win-win, right? You get a beautiful, stunning little cat, and you could choose one that's got stunning colors. Some, 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 sometimes they have two different eye colors uh, and they're generally, generally all very different. So you get a huge wide variety rather than going to a breeder and you're gonna get a pool of maybe six kittens that all look the same, right? Uh, two birds, one stone, you're rescuing a cat and you're getting a beautiful, gorgeous cat of your choice. Oh, she loves a good head scratch. As you can see, I can be quite rough with her. Um, she's just used to me, I guess, from very early on. And this is another important thing is that when you bring them home, make sure you spend a lot of time with them, right? Especially abandoned uh, or adopted cats or kittens. Just spend lots of time with them, be around them. Obviously, give them space at the same time uh, so you don't stress them out, but just nice, quiet space, but you're around, right? So that they know that you're there. They know that uh, they'll start getting used to you, and then they kind of, and then I started handling her quite early and playing with her, and now she kind of figures out who I am and how I am with her. Coming in at number nine, is cats can make other pets happy. Now, what I mean by that is that if you've got other animals, whether they're, you've got dogs or other cats, um, yes, cats are very territorial. Um, they prefer to be on their own, but sometimes cats live harmoniously with other cats and it can be beneficial for them. They're generally happier. Um, dogs and cats, I know that the uh, Old Testament of dogs and cats hate each other, but actually sometimes dogs love cats. And you see those videos online where uh, the dog is always forcing the love and the cat's kind of like, oh yeah, you're all right, but then don't, you know, don't push me, otherwise I'll give you a little swipe. But otherwise, um, that's been uh, seen as a benefit where animals actually like uh, make each other happy, right? Just by being each other's company, whether it's the same household, the same room. And coming in at a final number 10, and that is senior company, right? So cats are amazing options for older, the older or elderly generation, right? So obviously dogs might be a bit too energetic, uh, might be a bit too much admin or a bit too much care, uh, whereas an adopted cat or uh, even a kitten, um, very, very, very easy uh, to look after, especially uh, in a, like I said, a indoor scenario, um, as well as uh, they don't need a lot of care and attention, they kind of look after themselves, um, and elderly people uh, will benefit them by giving them, like I said, some care, some uh, social aspects, uh, some attention, as well as it just gives them some company, right? So great for elderly people. Uh, cats are easy to look after. 
and uh, oh, you should not too impressed today. She's like, I don't want to go to a elderly home, please. So yeah, that's my 10 reasons, guys. Um, obviously, the, uh, the whole point of this video was is to promote uh, the adoption of animals out of animal shelters, guys. So uh, there's a problem uh, on a global level of abandoned pets and animals, and that's simply because people just don't understand, uh, I guess, the full requirements of having a pet, uh, whether it's a dog or a cat or a fish tank or a turtle, regardless of what it is, people buy pets thinking it's easy, you know, understanding the full requirements, and then they're very quick to abandon them, donate them, get rid of them, sell them, whatever it is, guys, be responsible pet owners. Um, and if you are gonna get a cat or a kitten, dog or a pup, think about animal shelters first, guys, right? That's all you need to think about. Um, just because, like I said, the 10 reasons I've listed, I mean, they're 10 good reasons, right? And some of them are probably more important than others. For example, save more than one life, right? You, you, you need, we need to, I guess, alleviate the pressure that cat shelters have around the world and animal shelters have. So look at her, she's, uh, I mean, who knows what kind of life she would have had if we didn't come. And I mean, she would have got, a, she might She might have got adopted eventually or she might have been stuck at the shelter. And I mean, think about what happens to animals when they don't get adopted out at shelters, right? Think about if they're there all that time, could be six months, could be a year, could be three months. Think about what happens to them, right? So guys, um, as a unit, as a group, as a community, as a population, think about animals. They need our help, they need our support, they need our love, right? They're sentient beings. Otherwise, King Fluffy, stay tuned for the next one. I hope you enjoy our videos. If you like this, subscribe, comment below, over and out.